Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's a little unusual for me to be in the frame, but I've gotten so many requests on Lennon's rescue story, and I just figured it would be a lot easier to talk about how we came into each other's lives rather than doing the usual voiceover. So about two, two and a half years ago, I was going through a bit of a rough patch in my life, and I started looking into a potential emotional support animal. And one day I was walking past this hole in the wall pet store by my house and I decided to walk in and there she was. Um, there were about eight tiny baby bunnies stuffed into a bird cage, a wire bottomed bird cage. They had maybe some water, maybe some pellets. Either way, just really horrific conditions. The pet store owner gave me a lot of misinformation. He said you could give them pellets and keep them in a cage and that they were low maintenance and told me Lennon was a boy, all of which turned out to be untrue. He said they were only six weeks old, which is way too young to be weaned from their mothers, by the way. He encouraged me to pick Lennon because she has this white paw and white collar. And so that was it, you know, I took her in. She was only $25 and I kind of jumped at the price. I was really surprised at how inexpensive she was. And so we drove home that night and I remember looking over at her on the passenger seat and just, we were both terrified. <laughs> we had no idea what to expect from each other. And so we got home and I let her free roam a little bit and she was just slipping and sliding everywhere because she had never been on a surface that wasn't a wire-bottomed cage. But it was right then and there that it hit me and I just thought, oh my god, what did I just get myself into? So after a week of poop pellets everywhere, urine puddles everywhere, she had chewed my MacBook Pro charger, she had gotten to a couple of my shoes, I started freaking out a little bit. I also just felt like she wasn't being very interactive. I thought she could care less about me, and I don't know, I guess I was expecting dog behavior from her. So I started thinking about ways to rehome her. I typed up an ad on Craigslist for her, and naturally I got tons of phone calls, and I had finally agreed to give her away to this one lady who was gonna pick her up the following day. And our last night together, I guess I had some sort of light bulb moment and I googled how to bond with your rabbit, which I don't know why I hadn't done before. But I got down on the floor and I got down on her level just as the instructions said to do, despite my skepticism, and waited and waited. And finally, she cautiously crawled over to me, sniffed me everywhere, and then hopped onto my chest and started kissing me and kissing the tip of my nose. It was as though she was speaking to me and asking me not to give her away, to just give her a chance. And in that moment, I felt so much love, so much love that I had been missing myself. And that was the night that I decided to commit myself to her. So I thought it'd be really important to share this story because this is probably one of the most common reasons that rabbits are relinquished is because you have impulse buyers who buy a rabbit for whatever reason, they're really cute or it's Easter, Christmas, they're novelty pets and then you bring them home and you realize that they are so much more work than you ever thought you could imagine. There's this misconception that they're low maintenance for some reason or that they're great starter pets and all of that is completely false. You know, rabbits are not commodities and shouldn't be commodified. They are real living beings that are so intelligent and they really need a lot of care. At the time, I didn't know that rabbits were chewers, but I also didn't know that they could be potty trained. You know, I didn't know how smart they were and I didn't know how affectionate they were. Keeping Lennon was one of the best decisions I've ever made. We have such an amazing relationship and I don't know what I would do without her. 
If for some reason you're in a circumstance where you can't keep your rabbit, please consider reaching out to your local rabbit rescue organization. Rabbit rescues will place your bunny up for adoption or put them in foster care, uh, give them medical attention if they need it. At the time, I didn't even know you could adopt a rabbit. If for some reason you don't have access to a rabbit rescue or they can't take your rabbit in, please consider going to an animal shelter. At least that puts a roof over their head and keeps them monitored by professionals. But whatever you do, please don't throw your rabbit out into the wild. They are not wild animals, they are domestic rabbits, and they are completely dependent on humans for their survival. And please do not turn to Craigslist to rehome your rabbit like I was considering. A lot of the time people buy rabbits on Craigslist to use as snake food. You just never know who you're giving your rabbit to. Thank you guys for being awesome subscribers and for tuning in. Please let us know what you want to see next and catch you later. Say bye, Lennon. Say bye.